everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, sorry I've been away for a couple of weeks. Um, my camera broke and I ended up having to replace it. Um, I just re received my camera in the mail and so, um, yeah, this is, this is what's been going on. So, um, stay tuned, I have uh, more videos updating you guys on what's been going on these couple of weeks and also I have more makeup tutorials, more hauls, more of that good stuff that y'all like. Um, comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to watch. Um, today I am doing a chit chat get ready with me um, where I will be talking about my pregnancy and how my pregnancy is going and I just figured I could do one video talking about two things um, updating you guys on my pregnancy and um, talk about a little bit of my, of that and then at the same time do a makeup tutorial for you guys since it's been a while since I've done both so if you are interested in um, watching my video then just keep watching Okay, so the first thing I would like to do is apply on a primer to my face to sort of hydrate my skin and um, for that I will be using the Nivea Men Cream. Um, it's a body cream and everyone's been talking about this um, because this body cream actually stays on your skin all throughout the day literally all throughout the day and it keeps your makeup in space and it keeps it looking flawless all throughout the day and if you don't believe me guys you guys have to try this so I'm gonna use a little bit of this Nivea man and maybe just use a little bit not too much um, so I'm applying it all over. <laughs> Y'all like my Minnie Mouse ears? I just love wearing those for some reason when I'm doing my makeup. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about my pregnancy update. I am currently um, 20 weeks pregnant and we made it halfway through our pregnancy very very blessed very excited um, we have 20 more weeks to go in our pregnancy and um, this coming up week I'm going to have my um, anatomy scan where they check to see if there are any problems with the baby and they're also going to tell me the gender of the baby, which I already know the gender of the baby because I couldn't wait. Um, so if you guys haven't watched that video where I did my gender reveal, I went to Stork Vision in Dallas and they um, do sonography um, uh, for pregnant women. And I think as early as 15 weeks, if I'm not mistaken, you can find out the gender of your baby. And so um, I went there when I was, let's see, fifth, close to 15 weeks and some days. Um, and I did my, um, my ultrasound and they did the gender determination. And um, so I'm gonna link that video down below for you guys if you haven't yet watched it. It's a really fun video and a, it was a huge surprise because my husband and I have been wanting a boy for a while and um, we finally got our boy and I'm just so excited, so, so, so excited. And so, okay, so yes, this upcoming week I'm going to have my anatomy scan at my doctor's office. And then um, I'll go to my regular doctor checkups weeks after that. So, um, yeah, I've been feeling great. I've just been super tired, super exhausted. Um, this is the uh, Too Faced 
Born This Way foundation in the color Natural Beige. So, um, going back to what I was telling you guys, um, I've been super exhausted, super, super exhausted. Um, like, as soon as I come home from picking up the kids from school, I lay my head down, I take, try to take a small nap. With three kids, it's not easy, so um, I try to take a small nap. So I start out by laying down in my bed. And then I literally lose it. Like one minute I'm in the bed laying down and the next minute I find myself completely dead. Like I completely pass out. I don't hear a thing, which is super abnormal because I'm not a heavy sleeper at all, at all, like at all. I mean because when I'm when I'm sleeping I hear everything. Everything wakes me up. Thank you. What is that? Okay, bye. That was my two year old. Um so I hear everything and that was like that's always been me, you know, like even before my pregnancy I would hear everything everything would, would wake me up any little thing would wake me up so um with this pregnancy on top of me not getting any sleep or anything and just getting up every five minutes to pee um i i don't like i don't understand why with this pregnancy um when i take a nap during the daytime not during the nighttime um, I like completely pass out and by the time I wake up, um, maybe like an hour later, because I don't take naps like for long periods of time. I usually do that. I put alarms on for everything, you guys, for everything. I put alarms and I have to remind myself that I have to get up and like I'm well rested after a long day of you know like picking up the kids going to the grocery store running my errands and I only get two hours literally because my daughter's in pre-k so she only goes half a day to school so I only get two hours and in those two hours I have to put everything together that I need to do for that day and Sometimes I don't finish up what I'm doing, but that's just life. Next year she'll be in kindergarten and she'll, she'll be there all day. So anyways, um, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. And it looks like this. And this is in the color medium. So, I'm going to do that to clean up under my eyebrows. Just zoom in. So, that's what's been going on. Um, I've been very tired and, oh my goodness. Another thing I've been experiencing is that when I drink coffee or I drink, sorry, or when I eat like candy, it's like I have a huge obsession for chocolate. So I've been purchasing these um, chocolate bars. They're called a 100 grand and those are like my favorite right now and I'm completely obsessed with those so I always pick those up when I go to the store and I notice that every time that I drink coffee or I eat chocolate just painful headaches so I better take my, my Lorac blush 
and apply some of that with my Real Techniques brush. So, anyways, um, I've been getting headaches. What else? Sleepless nights. Um, getting up to pee every five to ten minutes. Nah, nah. Every, like, I don't know, every two, three hours. Those are basically my symptoms that I've been having at 20 weeks pregnant. And, okay, now I'm going to go in with this waterproof cream color in the shade Honey by Anastasia Beverly Hills to color correct my eyes okay so to color correct my eyelids i'm going to be using this anastasia beverly hills waterproof cream color in the shade honey and it's brand new i haven't even used it yet so um What a night, like I think it was Sunday night, so a couple of days ago, um, I started getting cramps and I don't understand why, but I started getting some cramps. It, I didn't really like that, like I felt so uncomfortable because they were like literally like period cramps and I messaged one of my friends on messenger and I asked her hey did you ever have cramps when you were 20 weeks pregnant because I don't remember having cramps this early she's like oh yeah they're like Braxton Hicks or they're there it's normal and I was like what Braxton Hicks are considered to be like contractions aren't they and like sort of contractions but not contractions if you get what I'm saying uh, if you've ever been pregnant, you know what Braxton Hicks are. But anyways, um, I always said no. Um, so I told her, I was like, no, I don't think those are Braxton Hicks because I never got those as early as 20 weeks. I, I remember getting those like at 35 weeks pregnant, but not this early. And she was like, yeah, she's like, it happens as early as, she said, as 13 weeks. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I guess with this pregnancy, I'm going to get Braxton Hicks early. And that's something that I need to prepare myself for because um, I'm not prepared for those type of pains yet. You know, I'm just not. Because um, to me, I was thinking that I was supposed to have those pains uh, later on, like, as I get closer to my due date. So um, that was kind of a surprise. Um, I couldn't believe that I was having those cramps. They went away, thank God. I just laid down on my side and um, that is pretty much all. Oh, and my boobs have been super sore and like, especially in these hot summer days, like, They've been super sore. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Benefit What's Up highlighter. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And comes with a little sponge applicator on one side and on the other side you have the highlighter. So I'm applying that there. Bridge of my nose. Keep it slow. And then I'm slowly just going right above where I did my blush. And I'm applying some. Oh my goodness, that's such an old song from Usher. You Got It Bad by Usher. Wow. Such an old song. I was like a teenager when that song came out, or maybe younger. So, this is such a good highlighter, you guys. I haven't used it in a while, I stopped using it. 
but and he has like a creamy creamy smell to it like I don't know like almost smells like food <laughs> I'm gonna use my Too Faced love palette that I have never used before brand new and I've had these for like I don't know three years now two years and it's brand new I haven't used it oops haven't used it. Look at all those beautiful colors to play with. Green is one of my favorite colors. And then of course these two. The pink and the gold. And then that nude color. Going back to my pregnancy. Um, at first I was like telling myself, Ooh, as soon as I find out what I'm having, I am going to hit the store and purchase all this cute boy stuff that I find but I actually had to stop because my husband's like you need to stop shopping and you need to just save your money for like the bigger stuff like the crib and car seat and furniture and all that good stuff so I actually stopped shopping for my baby boy um you know like clothes clothing and shoes um I stopped already um because he's like and you don't even know if you're gonna get all that stuff during your baby shower so because it's true okay whenever you have a baby shower you always get like the newborn sizes don't you like you know me I know I've always I've always gotten gifts I've always received gifts from people that are like just nothing but newborn sizes clothing and then like small shoes or like small accessories that you probably don't need to be buying right now so my husband's like stop buying if you don't get any of that stuff during your baby shower then yeah go buy it but um do not stock up on newborn stuff because the baby will probably not even use it and the baby will probably just use it for a month we don't know how big the baby's gonna be so i completely stopped buying newborn stuff because that's what i was buying that's what I was buying. I was buying nothing but newborn stuff. And I kind of stopped and then I went. I was so tempted to purchasing more baby clothes. But this time I got like the 18 months, 24 months. <laughs> That's how crazy I am. So anyways, um, I stopped purchasing stuff. Um, and then my baby shower is November 10th. So... I cannot wait to see what I get um, and I'm looking forward to it so okay I'm gonna go in with this color here it's called devotion and it's this pretty goldish color right here what I mean by pigmented so yes you guys I stopped purchasing baby clothes because I was going crazy like y'all should see my baby's wardrobe already um I purchased one of those clothing racks I think I'm gonna use this XOXO color here wait a minute no that's a door a door is the color up next and use it as my crease color so gosh I'm so excited that I actually took the time to do this because I haven't been doing this in a while like I said I had to replace my camera because my kids broke it and I had just gotten it for Mother's Day and it was a, you know a special gift that my husband got for me and my daughter found it one day and I was uploading a video I left it there she got it she broke the screen and I took it back and they said they couldn't fix it because the warranty was out so um, lesson learned pay for the warranty you know get the insurance and um, you don't have to spend more money at the end so i ended up ordering it they didn't have it in stock they said we'll ship it to you once it comes in 
and I said fine. So I waited two and a half weeks and now I'm back with you guys making more videos. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying my chit chat video that I am doing. And let's see, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette today just to use one of my favorite colors um, on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just gonna do it for that because um, I want my eyes to feel awakened and fresh. So I'm gonna go in with this color called Luna. I fell in love with this color the other day when I wore it for a party. Just look how pigmented it is. I just kind of go on the inner corners of my eyes. With this Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer from Too Faced. And it looks like that. i take my Real Techniques brush. And oh my goodness, I love using this. Because it smells like cocoa. Oh, has such a good smell to it. I'm gonna take some of that. Go up and down. So I have this passion for chocolate lately. Like I was telling y'all earlier. And this smell is making it worse. Cause it smells just like cocoa powder or like chocolate. And oh my goodness, so in love with it. Take some over here on my forehead. What else? So, I'm going to be using these infallible uh, paints from L'Oreal Paris. And if you want to know the color of this, this is the number 324 DIY. Let's see. 324 DIY red. That's the color. I don't know why. I just, I'm in the mood to wear this color. Because it looks so elegant on. And it's not entirely red more like um I don't know I can't explain it it's more like a um, watermelon red you know like a light red and you can like build it up or build it down and I think that's good enough for me so um what what else was I telling you guys I put a little bit more of that highlighter, these What's Up highlighter, on the tip of my nose. What's up? Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna set my foundation now, and for that, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. As always, take my beauty blender and just set my under eye. Because it's super hot and humid outside. This weather, I'm telling you, is killing me. Like around 3 o'clock when I go pick up my son at school. It is super hot, like, ugh. It feels like you're stepping into a oven or something, like, ugh. It's, it's, it's just bad. Okay, so next up, I am going to use this Lorac 3-in-1 waterproof eyeliner pencil. And I don't want to wear eyeliner on top today. I just want it to look natural, so sorry about that fuzz from my chair so I'm just using the eyeliner 
here in the bottom just very lightly not very heavy because i also have to put on my mascara oh i just poked my eye that's what happens when you're talking i think that's why people do voiceovers on youtube videos because it's kind of tough to work on your makeup and talk at the same time i use this clinique chubby lash mascara and i'm going to apply it on my under lashes that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this quick um get ready with me chit chat video um comment down below if you have any questions um about any of these products that i used today comment down below also if you are currently expecting and if you are 20 weeks pregnant like me let me know if you guys are experiencing the same symptoms that I'm experiencing. And I will see you guys on my next video. Uh, like I said, I will have more videos coming up. More hauls. More get ready with me. Um, and yeah. So if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And um hit that notifications bell so that you can be notified every time that i upload a video and you can keep up with all my videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will talk to you guys later bye have a wonderful day So I wanted to do a belly shot for my video, to end my video. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to do a belly shot for you guys. And I hope you guys love it. Love it, love it, love it. And so I'm going to show you guys my belly. And oh, check out my shirt. It says, don't eat watermelon seeds. And then it has a picture of a watermelon. So that is super cute. Everyone that sees this shirt is like, oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is what I look like at 20 weeks pregnant. My belly's getting bigger. Let me see if I can maybe stretch this out a little okay so this is what my watermelon looks like <laughs> my watermelon my belly looks like at 20 weeks pregnant to it so that was all for today i hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. And I love you guys. Bye.